Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. So a couple of days ago we received the brand new adversary mode Vespucci Job Remix. I played all 7 of the maps and I'll say that the movie references in them are cool and all, but really it's just kind of the same thing as the first Vespucci Job with different vehicles. The two that do stand out are the ones with the hunters, just because instead of trying to crash the runner to slow them down, you're trying to hit them with the barrage missiles to blow them up to then slow them down. While this video isn't necessarily about the new game mode, it's more about trying to understand why Rockstar aren't leveraging their content more for game modes. We have Cayo Perico, the largest new area we've seen added to the game for a heist, and two years later, the only thing we could do on that island is still the heist. And I'm just confused as to why they aren't tapping into the potential that Cayo Perico has for things like adversary modes and just general PvP matches. The gameplay you're seeing now is from a 5M server called War V or Battle 5. They had a recent beta test last weekend, and on that server they have two maps on the Kayapriko Island, the main compound map and the one at the main dock area. It's a really cool server, and if you guys want to know more about it, I'll have their Twitter link down below in the description, and from there you can find their Discord server and everything that you need to join and participate in the server. And as awesome as the main dock and main compound are, there are really so many different areas that I could think of to put maps in for PvP modes on Kayapriko. Just think of all the other new areas that we've gotten in DLC updates, you know, the bunkers, the missile base, and the doomsday heist, the casino, hell, even the aircraft carrier, those all have adversary modes located inside or on their respective areas, but a massive island with tons of area for new modes on the other hand, for some reason just doesn't have any that take place there. And I find this quite strange. I brought it up on my Twitter a few days ago in this tweet where I basically said what I just stated here, how the other more cramped areas have adversary modes there, but not Kyra Perico, and how there's just so much untapped potential there, which I guess is really GTA Online's motto. There's really untapped potential in so many areas of GTA Online, and this is just one big example of it, because we still don't have proper go-kart racetracks made by Rockstar themselves. Getting back on topic though, the most common theory I've seen as to why they haven't messed around with adding modes to Kaya Perico is that it's not very well optimized, that the performance isn't up to par so they don't want to bring any more attention to it by making modes there, which I guess makes sense for last gen consoles. GTA Online on last gen can hardly run at like 20 FPS in busy public lobbies as it is at Los Santos, so I don't even want to imagine how that would be on Kaya Perico with let's just say like 16 or so players battling it out. But on next gen and PC, it's not terrible, the performance. Sure, you can notice some drops, but it's not completely unplayable. And Kyoprico isn't the only place where the FPS drops in online. Like, if this 5M server run by a small dev team can do it, I'm sure Rockstar with their tons of employees and billions of dollars can figure out a way to do it as well. And maybe that actually is what they're waiting for. Maybe they're waiting to drop last gen and fully bring E&E &E to PC before adding game modes on Kyoprico. I just hope that it is in their pipeline because I'm telling you, it's got potential for some really fun content. Hell, maybe even add it to the Rockstar creator for us to make our own races and deathmatches there because we all know the community can make some really fun jobs. Just imagine Slasher at night in the rain in the main compound while the power shut off. They could do Entourage where you have to get from the airfield to the compound and there could be Kai Preco themed vehicles to achieve that. They could add a survival map really at any of the main areas on the island, the main dock, the north dock, the compound, the airfield. Each of those areas would be great for survivals, you know, make the enemies Kaya Perico guards, in later rounds maybe they send in Valkyries to attack you, or squaddies full of bad guys so it fits with the lore of the island. And those are just a few examples, there are plenty of different adversary modes they could think to make here. Anyways, I just want to make a video talking about this because I've had this idea in my mind for a while now about new game modes on Kaya Perico, and it was actually something that I featured in my GTA 5 next gen trailer concept that I made a while back showcasing what a simulated survival on Kaya Perico could look like. So let me know what game modes you would like to see on Kaya Perico if Rockstar finally decided to implement them in the comments, and do you think the theory of bad optimization is why they haven't added more content on Kaya Perico yet? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.